myself i am madhavi devi and uh, uh, today i am handling the session on operating system and which is covered in uh, btech fourth semester under regulation of ug20 so in today's presentation uh, we are going to cover operating system services and user operating system interface and system calls and what are the different types of system calls and system programs operating system design and implementation and operating system structure these are the contents we are going to cover in today's session so with this session the students will able to get they able to describe the services an operating system can provide to the users processes and other systems and they can also get how to use the system calls for managing the processes memory and the file system so these are the two outcomes the students are going to get out of this session so let us see the different services are going to provided by the operating system in last sessions we already come to know what do you mean by operating system what are the different components of the computer system and what are the different evaluations of the operating system and what are the different popular types of the oss operating system are used in the current world so now today we are going to discuss the different services or different functions provided by the operating system so the service is provided by the operating system so it will create an interface so it provides services to the both users and to the programs so these services are categorized as two kinds of the services user perspective services and system perspective services that is user services and another one is system services so with the services this operating system it provides a programs this programs create an environment for execution an environment for program execution and it also provides to the users the services to execute the programs in convenient manner so all these services which provide an environment to execute programs and it also gives convenient use to the user so under this category these are the different services will be provided by the operating system the first service is program execution and second service is ibo operation input output operations and the third service is file system manipulation and another services communication error detection resource allocation protection these are the different kinds of the services the operating system will be provided so suppose in examination the question will come like can describe the different uh, uh, functions of an operating system also so you have to at uh, give the answer for this only so now let us we discuss the program execution under this program execution what this operating system will be provided so this operating system will provide many activities from the user to system programs like printer spooler name servers file servers etc it will perform many activities from users to system programs right these activities we will call it as or we are encapsulated as processes these are one each and every activity we are going to call it as processes this process must require an execution complete execution so under this execution program execution this operating system provided the following activities 
the following major activities operating system will be provided operating systems responsibility so what are what is operating what operating system responsibility means here it will load the program into memory because when a program has to be executed so the, usually the programs will be stored in secondary memory when we are going to execute a program it has to brought it from secondary memory to main memory then that loading task will be done by the operating system so it executes once that program is loaded into memory then it will start executing the program and it handles the program execution suppose while in the program execution it may ask different resources and it will provide a mechanism to request a resource and use the resource and release the resources and it will provide a mechanism for the process synchronization this process synchronization concept we will cover in later sessions and it also provide a mechanism for process communication because processes has to complete the program has to complete the execution it requires the process communication it will provide a mechanism and it also provide a mechanism for deadlock handling this synchronization communication and deadlock handling these topics will be covered in later chapters also so here you will come to know under this program execution what operating systems duty responsibility so what are that it loads the program it execute the program it handles the program execution it provide a mechanism for the process synchronization it provide a mechanism for process communication it provides a mechanism for the deadlock handling these are the services will be provided by operating system under program execution so let us see the next service provided by operating system i by o operation i by o operation input output operation so obviously what are the input output commands read write and these are the commands for any program execution so the program may ask such a kind of resources it may request input output resources so this i by o subsystem comprises of i by o devices and this i by o devices each and every i by o devices input output devices will be have their own drivers or device controller device controller is having a driver software this driver software have that mechanism so this operating system manages the communication between user and device drivers this operating system what actually it acts as a communication between user and device drivers so under this communication what act actually activities it will i by o operation means read or write operation with any file or any specific input output device it also provides access to the required i by o device when required so this operating system under ibo operation it provide access it gives the service of accessing the input output devices with the help of the device drivers so now let us see next service file system manipulation file system manipulation because for any program execution the program consists of many multiple processes a process is nothing but a piece of code which are in execution is nothing but a process so for completion of the program or for completion of the task so it has multiple processes so while doing the task it requires many resources under this file system manipulation because the files suppose you want to store any information so then you require a file so a file is nothing but a collection of information that collection of information we have to store it in different files on the disk 
that disk is either secondary storage or different storage uh, resources we will use it for storing the information suppose you want to store long term purpose then you will store it in a secondary storage so under this file system this operating system will perform the following activities so what are that activities so first the program needs to read a file or write a file the operating system will provide a mechanism because program requires to read a file or write a file and here this operating system gives the permission to the program for the operation on a file so if you are given in a program according to the permissions either of read mode write mode read only uh, like different read and write mode so there are a different permissions we have it on a files so operating system will give the permission to the program to whom actually it will give permission this operating system will give permission to the program for operation what are the operations we will perform on a file read file write file read write and different reject the file so on so many operations we will perform on files so later in operating system we will study separate chapter file management systems so that is one of the task one of the service will be provide and it also provides an interface to the user to create or delete the files this read write read only write only these are the operations on the files so this is also create and it provides an interface to the user to create delete the files and it also provide an interface to the user to create or delete directories delete on because directories are nothing but a collection of files only don't get confused so directories are nothing but collection of files so the si similar files we will keep it in uh, directories for easy navigation sake so and this operating system also provides an interface to create the backup of the file system also suppose sometimes if you are feeling that file is very important and uh, then you may have seen that some system program in operating system itself uh, do you want to back up this files so you may able to see this uh, uh, option either with the uh, system accessories or you can go to command prompt and you can able to take the backup of the particular files actually particularly the bootstrap loader programs where actually these files we required are important files we if you required the backups and all and and another place actually when actually you want to install a new software and you want to make take the system to the create factory then you require entire backup of the system that time actually this operating system is having the facility of backup backup of the file system this is also operating system responsibility so next service provided by the operating system communication because in last session we have already studied different evaluations of operating system under that multi processing multi tasking operating system and here most of this operating system the navides operating system windows unix linux and all these operating systems are giving options to the multi processor multi tasking environment so to make the performance of the system is higher so here the multiple processes has to communicate with each other this communication this operating system will provide an environment to communicate the multiple processes one another one among another either suppose if that processes are within a system then it has to provide an environment if the processes are resided in different systems in distributed computing systems then it ha it has to establish some communication network so through communication multiple processes communicate with one another through communication lines in the 
network. So this OS is responsible for routing and connection strategies and the problems of the contention and security. The contention is nothing but here. So suppose one process is contended for or one process is conflicting for a resource with, with that resources is held by another process. That is nothing but contention. Means See, suppose if this is a one process and this is one, one another process. If this process is requesting a resource and the resource is held by another process and it is fighting, it is, there is a, because all this resource contention will be ha happened with the shared resources only. Right? So that is nothing but contention. This operating system has to smoothly handle this contention problems and security related problems also. So under this service, these are the different activities it will be provided by operating system. Usually two processes often require data to be transferred between them. Data has will be transferred between them. And both processes can be in one computer or in the different computers, but are connected through a computer network, but are connected through a computer network. If the processor reside in different computers, it has to communicate through a computer network. So this communication will be how actually the operating system will provide the communication either through the shared memory or message passing. These are the two methods. Actually, these are the two methods will be provided by the operating system. One is shared memory or another one is message passing. This also we will discuss in the later chapters. The next service is provided by the operating system is error detection. So, usually uh, errors will be occurred at any time, anywhere. The error can be occurred inside the CPU or inside the memory or inside the IBM devices. Suppose sometimes you may observe that memory overflow, right? Uh, while in the calculations, you may observe that the printer also, the paper is jam or printer is not working. Like different kinds of the errors, it is occurred. Then the operating system responsibility our operating system will be provide a service constantly check the possible errors constantly check the possible errors the os operating system takes an appropriate action to ensure the correct and consistent computing so the operating system because that's why we will say that we are saying that operating system is act like a government. Operating system is a resource manager. So, uh, these are the different functions that can be ta taken care of by the operating system. So, the service, it has to constantly monitor, checks the errors and it has to give appropriate action. Suppose if something is wrong, it has to give appropriate action back to the user. So, the another service which is very important service provided by the operating system is resource management or resource allocation. Resource allocation. In uh, Because we have a limited resources in our system. It is also operating system responsibility to make use of these limited resources in very efficient and effective manner. So, in any multi-user or multitasking environment, resources such as main memory, CPU cycles, files, storage to be allocated to each user or to tasks or jobs. So, under this, it, the operating system manages all kinds of resources allocation using the schedulers. There are three kinds of the schedulers, long term scheduler, short term scheduler, medium term scheduler. According to that, 
Actually, this operating system will provide the services and allocate the resources with the help of scheduling algorithms and with the help of schedulers will do the task. And here, in according to the scheduler, what kind of scheduler we are opting, this scheduling algorithms are used for better utilization of the CPU because we are saying that CPU is one of a resource. So, to make effective use of this CPU, we have to apply different kinds of the scheduling algorithms to use the CPU in efficient manner. So, this also we will study in later chapter. The another service, protection. So, obviously you may have seen that the protection and security. Because for any operating system or for any software, we have to provide a protection because multiple users are using the systems. So, if you observe that when you are logging to the system itself, that operating system will ask some authentication, some password. Means that it provides a protection to the software, whether that person is using the system, you are using the operating system, you are using the system authenticated user or unauthenticated user. If password you are giving, that is a first verification will done by the operating system. Here, this computer system having multiple users and do concurrent execution of the multiple processes. Various mechanisms will be provided by the operating system to protect the system software programs or system software. Here, this protection refers mechanism to control the access of the programs. See, if I am an administrator, I can able to access the control panel of, uh, with the help of control panel, I can go to system settings and I can able to do the changes in my system. Suppose if I am a normal user, I can't able to go and the, sometimes you may observe while in the practicals. So, uh, you are not uh, allowed to use these uh, uh, system programs. Uh, control panel programs that may have. that is one kind of the protection is provided by the operating system right so if you are authenticated and administrator of that system then it will allow to change some set, certain system settings right so under this these are the following services will be provided by the operating system and operating system ensures that all access to the system resources in controlled manner, in controlled manner. And it ensures that external input output devices are protected from invalid access attempts. And it also provides authentication features to each user by means of passwords. The another service is accounting. Uh, what we have discussed in the protection. Uh, so, because the operating system, because multiple users will able to use the system. So, it you are maintaining different accounts and by using of different accounts, we will keep track of which users are performing which actions with the system resources or computer resources. These are the different services provided by the operating system. So, this is the view of the operating system services, graphical view of the operating system services. You may already have seen the abstract view of the components. There also operating system is uh, up uh, above of the hardware. Hardware is all the parts of the computer. And operating system is act as intermediate between a hardware and users, right? And inside this operating system, these are all the services what we did have discussed it just right now. So, program execution, IPV operation, file systems, communication, resource allocation, accounting, error detection, protection and security. These are all the services not only these limited services, many services will be provided by the operating system for smooth running of the software and for smooth running of all the operations in a system. So, 
to implement these services we will uh, make use of the system calls uh, in tomorrow's class in tomorrow's session we will discuss about of the system classes so these system calls will be act as an interfaces between uh, between the these operating system and user it is a bidirectional communications so with the help of system calls we can make use of these system services which are provided by the operating system so in today's session till now we have covered all operating system services and in tomorrow session we are going to cover operating system interface user operating system interface what are the different user operating system interfaces command line interface and graphical user interfaces different kinds of user interfaces which will make your system to use in a convenient manner and system calls uh these are system calls and then uh, we will discuss the system programs in the another next session so thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates